Welcome everyone to another extreme off road silly build and today we're dealing with the 2013 McLaren P1. Now unfortunately this is practically stock because you, can, you can't do any upgrades to the engine so it's still got 903 horsepower from its twin turbo 3.8 litre V8 with its uh, electric motor but it does weigh 3258 pounds which is slightly less than it did originally but obviously it's going to weigh a bit more now it has all wheel drive and it also has the off road tyres so uh, yeah this is a really really quick car even with that extra weight that it wouldn't have normally so yeah but this is obviously a supercar so it's not really made for this at all so uh, this might end up like most of the supercars where they've just been bouncing around hopefully it won't be though so let's see what it can do add launch so it's because it's all wheel drive made with that in mind that's a stupid amount of speed there <laughs> So far it's dealing with the jumps better than I expected it to. Obviously the ultimate test is coming up now. Well, even though it was rising by the nose, it landed it perfectly well. So wish it was there. Even though this has off-road tyres, which make it handle worse, it still handles it rather well. Not better than other cars, to be honest. I have to say this, the all, having all, the all wheel drive on this made the uh, feel sluggish in some areas. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that went wrong. Wrong angle. Totally wrong angle. Generate a bit of the steer as well with the all-wheel drive, which isn't helpful. But it's gonna happen, is it? Yeah, new time with the McLaren P1. Well, it was bound to happen eventually that would beat the Ferrari, and we've done it in spectacular style with one of the most powerful. An extreme cars ever made, and it's done it even with the uh, understeer that it was generating and uh, the slight problem of the nose rising when it was going over jumps. It's beating the Ferrari, and it's done it with a uh, fairly wide margin, more than a second. Yeah, was not expecting that. I mean, I knew it was quick, but wasn't expecting it to be quick on that kind of course. So yeah, cracking job. It's really, really good even despite my uh, lack of driving skill. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.